Hello everybody, welcome to Market Musings with Watanabe. My name is Binza Krasta and today we are going to discuss about two different IPOs and uh, the, the flow of this video will be, first we will be discussing about the company, then we will be discussing about their financials, then we will also be sharing with you about the stats and lastly we will conclude whether we are going to apply for these IPOs or not. So stay tuned till the end. Uh, now let's get started. So the first company that we are going to discuss is uh, is India Shelter Finance Corporation. So this company was incorporated in 1998 and previously it was known as Satya Prakash Housing Finance India Limited. It is engaged in the business of housing finance. So the company provides loans uh, for house, construction, extension, renovation and purchase of new homes or plots. The company also offers loans against property. Now looking at its uh, network expansion, so the branches has increased significantly from 115 in March 2021 to 203 in September 2023 across 15 states and it has its major presence in Rajasthan, Maharashtra, MP, uh, Karnataka and Gujarat. Now, moving towards the financial part, uh, we can see, uh, looking at the assets, we can see that the assets uh, of this company has steadily been increasing and uh, reaching around 4,758 crores at the end of September 2023. Now, looking at its revenue part, it has increased quite a bit. And looking at the profit after tax, we can see that the company's profitability uh, has shown improvement with the profit after tax rising from 87 crores in March uh, 2021 to 155 crores in March 2023. Now looking at the net worth, so the company has been on an upward trend reaching around uh, 1,374 crores in September 2023. So this suggests that the company has been successful in building and retaining value. Looking at the reserves and surplus, we can see that uh, the company have been uh, the reserves and surplus of this company has been consistently increased indicating that the company has been able to set aside funds for future use or to absorb potential losses now looking at the total borrowings there is uh, the total borrowings has increased over time suggesting that the company has taken an additional debt to support its operations now, overall, if uh, we would like to conclude then, or to summarize, so we can say that the company appears to be in a favorable financial position with growing assets, revenue and profitability. The increase in net worth and reserves reflects a strengthening financial foundation. However, the rise in total borrowings should be monitored carefully. Now, this IPO started on 13th of December. And the close date is today, that is 15th of December. The issue price is ranging between 469 rupees to 493 rupees per share. Now, let me take you to the stats part. Now, till date, uh, the retail subscription, the retailers have subscribed by more than eight times in this company. So here we have taken the number as eight. Eight. So, uh, the analysis says that since Jan 2021, there were around 162 IPOs out of which we would have applied for 76 IPOs based on the retail subscription. Out of which we would have been allotted with 24 IPOs. And from this, we would have uh, won with 18 IPOs. That's a 75 percentage of winning rate. Especially, uh, we would have won in 18 IPOs on a listing day which is, uh, yes, like I mentioned, it is a 75 percentage of winning rate. The average investment, so if you would have started with the 2 lakh rupees of uh, investment, then you would have made a total profit of 93,690 rupees uh, so far. The max win year is on the listing day is 16,305, which is through, which is through GR Intra Limited, which was issued or listed on 19th of uh, July, 2021. And max loss is 2,982, which was through rate gain. Yeah. 
uh, rate gain travel technologies, which was uh, listed on 17th of December, 2021. So based on the retail subscription, whether we are going to apply for this IPO or not, then the answer is yes, we will apply for this IPO and try our luck. Now, uh, moving towards the other company, that is Domes Industries Limited. So this company is incorporated in 2006 uh, and it is a stationary and art product company primarily engaged in designing, developing, manufacturing and selling a wide range of these products under the flagship brand. The company offers stationery and art materials to consumers, which are classified into seven categories, namely paper stationery, kits and combos, office supplies, hobby and craft, and so on. Now, looking at its uh, global presence, so it operates in 45 plus countries across the USA, Africa, Asia Pacific, Europe, and the Middle East. Now, Moving towards the financial parts, so we can clearly see that the assets of this company has increased quite a bit. So uh, increasing consistently, it has reached around 829 crores as of September 30, 2023. Now looking at the revenue part, it has almost doubled from the financial year 2022 to ending of financial year 2023. Looking at the profit after tax, we can see uh, it has generally shown an increasing trend with a notable rise from 17, uh, from roughly around 17 crore in financial year 2022 to 102 crores in financial year 2023. Now, looking at the net worth, the company, uh, so the net worth of the company has consistently increased, reflecting a positive trend. Looking at the reserves and surplus. Uh, has also experienced growth, indicating retained earnings and financial strength. Now, looking at the total borrowings, we can see that the company's total borrowings has uh, increased over a bit period of time, and it has reached around 176 crores in September 30, 2023. So, while this may signify an effort to fund growth, uh, it's essential to monitor the debt levels in the in relation to the company's overall financial health. Now, if we have to summarize this, so we can say that this, uh, in summary, the company has shown positive signs in terms of asset growth, increased profitability, and rising net worth. So this IPO started on 13th of December and close date is today, that is 15th of December. And the issue price is ranging between 750 rupees to 790 rupees per share. Now, let me take you to the stats part. Now, the this company has been subscribed by more than 50 times. So, let me take your maximum number, that is 10. So, uh, now again, let me explain to you. So, uh, so, since Jan 2021, there were around 162 IPOs and out of which we would have applied only for 68 IPOs based on the retail subscription out of which we would have been allotted with 15 IPOs. And out of this, uh, we would have won in 12 IPOs with an 80% of winning rate. Now, if you would have started with an average investment of around 2 lakh rupees, then you would have made a profit, total profit of 75,141 rupees. Um, <clears throat> max win again your was through GR Infra projects, which we have already mentioned, and max loss was uh, in rate gain. Whether we are going to apply in this IPO or not, then the answer is yes, we will like to apply in this IPO. However, the chances are quite bleak that whether we will be getting allotted or no, but yes, we can definitely go ahead and try our luck. Well, that was um, all about the IPO. So if you find this video valuable, then do hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more such content. I will see you in our next video. Bye.